assistants Nick and Joe Must search every corner of his throne From a cassette that is our only home But in the meantime The way the greatest puts they rise VCR Party doing? Live. Welcome to the show. Welcome to VCR Party Live, the show where uh, me, Joe, him, Nick, we watch VHS tapes in our office. Although right now our office, we might sound kind of echoey. I think we might. It's, it's kind of barren in here. We only kept the VHS tapes over here because everything else is bare over there. We're moving into a bigger office. Just down the it's, hall. it's because of your goddamn submissions. You guys are sending us so much yeah. so much good shit. I mean, right. thank it's, you for your submissions. But we have so much stuff, it's like we're going to get avalanched We have soon. boxes and boxes and stuff to open. We'll have to do another unboxing episode soon. Maybe, maybe in the second half of this episode we can unbox one thing. Okay. We've got to do, we gotta do sure. some stuff. Yeah, we have a special guest tonight who I'm very excited about. But first of all, it's Fat Tuesday. It's Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. um, this is, is that the end of Lent? Do you, do you know, Steve? It's beginning. Beginning of Lent. So why do you I thought you were party? Catholic. I am, but I don't remember. Be why do be you because you're about to go into Lent, so you're oh, giving so stuff you up so that's your last big day. Yeah, all right, so you have one big and then party it ends day on, before uh, I think you need to apologize to the Catholics on this. You were, you're, you were raised Catholic. I, I think... was an altar boy, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about geometry? I wasn't a, ge I wasn't a geometry boy. Did you take a geometry class? Yeah, I took one. Okay. I wasn't Great. raised with geometry. Well, I wasn't raised Catholic either. I went on Sundays and didn't pay attention at every all. Every Sunday? Yeah, every Sunday. Wow, that's more than geometry. All right, geometry you proved class. my point. Sorry, yes. guys. Sorry. Yes, I won again. Apology next week to Catholics. All right, but uh, I would say the amount of times I went to church is probably equal to the amount of days you were in geometry class, because that's every day, right? I don't think that. All right. Steve, well, can you total up those numbers? Let's do the math. Would you, Steve? Okay. Anyway, we'll let me, uh, let me, uh, I think this is the show where I try to get to a video and you derail it. I think that's what this is. <laughs> that's what VCR all right. party's all about. <laughs> um, we'll have to George change the intro to reflect that. So, uh, it's Fat Tuesday, it's the day where you party, it's Mardi Gras, and, uh, Lent is just beginning. Yes, and we didn't have the, um, I don't, you know, for all the home movie footage that we found in camcorders, I don't think we've ever found a Mardi Gras tape. Do you remember finding one that's like from New Orleans? Or no, maybe we got a Girls Gone Wild. Oh yeah, we know? got plenty of those. I mean, that's kind of a yeah, Mardi true. Gras. But we can't play that on YouTube. So um, what I brought as is, much as we want to, <laughs> we love they're to. So good. Yeah, they're just so funny. Oh. Um, but uh, uh, so we found a. T we they were always cheap too, weren't they? They were like two for ten dollars. Remember the infomercials for Girls yeah. Gone Wild? They're always like two for ten dollars. It was always even cheaper slightly than tempting, but then yeah. yeah, it just didn't pull the trigger. Uh, I think I knew friends who all went in on it too to get like the whole collection. Oh um, yeah. But uh, anyway, we had a different version of partying footage, which comes from 1985. Friends, huh? friends who all went in on it. You didn't. I did not. No. But did you? I never, I never got one. Oh no! But, but you're, you're, it's when you say I have friends who got uh, Girls oh, Gone Wild. Right. I mean, it sounds a little suspicious. All right, let me just get to the video here. <laughs> I did not buy as if I just like, Dad, Mom, I just don't open this package. I mean, what? All you're right. a latchkey kid. <laughs> That's right. I just had all the latch freedom key in the kids, world. Latchkey kids could get away with so right. much. From three to five, it was just Party Central. It's actually a lot like this video we're going to watch right fucking now. <laughs> It's a video that a guy named, uh, that we became friends with through Jeff Krulik from Heavy Metal Parking Lot. He met a guy named Rudy Childs, and uh, Rudy went to, I think he was at this, this big... Uh, he was the camera guy. Yeah, he was the camera guy at this big heavy metal celebration. It was an outdoor heavy metal concert in uh, Potomac, Maryland, I think. And uh, it was in 1985, and nobody really had video cameras in 1985, but apparently his buddy worked for CBS. I think Rudy did. Well, I don't know if he wants us to say that. Oh, maybe that. he doesn't want yeah, a friend, his buddy. Maybe a friend. Oh, see, you're doing the friend thing. Well, you're talking about one person. That's right. You set the trap, and then here it closes. Yeah. All right, I bought Girls Gone Wild, and I watched it from three <laughs> to five. Thank you. That's what we wanted. Home. That's all we wanted. That's I've all never we wanted seen to hear. one of those videos. But we have uh, this tape, which was, uh, so he worked at, a, I think he's a security guard for CBS, his friend, and he went in after hours and 
took the CBS camera and the microphone that actually had the CBS logo on it and recorded this insane, drunken, heavy metal concert. And here's the whole movie uh, from that momentous. It, we're coming up on the anniversary. It was May 5th, 1985. Yeah. So here's a heavy metal picnic is what Rudy calls this, uh, this video. Audio? No audio? Are you getting anything? Uh -oh. Already. Oh. I mean, it's probably. Is this the full version from the show? From uh... Yeah. Scott, we're at the third annual Rock Fest down in Potomac, Maryland, and we are rocking, buddies. Nobody can handle themselves. Nobody is in control because we are rocking, goddammit. This is the rock capital of the world, and we are doing it right. Tune back for later comments. Are you really with CBS? Fuck no, we stole this shit. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> Here's the first of a couple of fights here. We're having a good time. No one's been born born. No one's died, but hell, we're having a good time here. I want that to be my epitaph. This is Dinker Ryan here. We are about to experience the beautifulest eyes in the world here. Look at these the eyes. The beautifulest. These are the bluest eyes I have ever seen in the world. I <laughs> swear to God. Wait, wait. These are the bluest eyes I have ever seen in the world. Yep. Great line. Great line. And beautifulest. Beautifulest eyes in the world here. <laughs> Look at these eyes. These are the bluest eyes I have ever seen in the world. I swear to God. Probably a $10,000 microphone. Sandra. Sandra Connor. <laughs> <laughs> here's this guy's old timey fighting style, which I love. Oh, he looks ripped he's though, like doesn't he? Oh, I bet he's Notre good. Dame I bet he's a good fighter. Hey, the other guy sucks. He's, playing, he's already good in a beer bottle. We're having so much fun. <laughs> Iron Maiden rules. Reagan's a fucking Nazi, man. Man. Ronald Reagan, man. No further comments. No further comments. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Get stoned through the bone. Stoned through the bone, man. All the way down. Hey, dog. What you got to say to yourself? <laughs> Get me out of this place. I, I do have LSD for sale, you know, I let all the people out there know. Is this CBS or what? Rock and roll party! Rock and roll party. party. Woo! It's going on 60 minutes, CBS. <laughs> I love where he enters. Ain't nothing but rock and roll. All right. Yeah. All right. There's yeah. a yeah, the heavy metal picnic. So. Yes. I don't think that's on one of our DVDs though. Oh yeah, it's you're not right. actually on one of our. DVDs. That's why I got to to go over there to see um, if we well, had the finished it, it documentary. It was part of Volume Four. In it's the not live on there though. Show, but it's not on there. Yeah, maybe we couldn't show it or something. No, because Jeff was working on the documentary about it at that's the time. Right. He didn't want anybody to see it. Yeah. He finished a document. That's why I went over there to look for because he gave us a copy of the DVD. Yeah, there's a full documentary about that rock and roll festival. He tracks down everybody. Yeah, in, Dinker in the Ryan. Movie. The whole gang. He, he he finds everybody in in there, and the the documentary is really good. Actually, the, it's the, like he's he's the you said this already. He's yeah. the guy who did heavy metal. Parking lot with John Hines. It's, it's kind of yeah. like that where he he tracked down a lot of the people, you know. Right, and so. actually, one of the things we found out was that the guy who had LSD for sale, and then the woman who I think was swinging the microphone, they got married. They're still married. Oh yeah, they're a lovely, sweet couple. 
So you get to meet them in there too. So uh, anyway, happy uh, Mardi heavy, Gras. Happy heavy Fat Metal Picnic. Heavy Look metal that picnic, up. I think yeah. it's on our website. I think it it's is. On you our, can yeah. buy the DVD. So happy Fat Tuesday. And now you got to buckle down for Lent. So. Uh, okay. What do we got? Oh, some announcements. Some quick announcements before we get into our guest. In our guest, it, it, we we already taped it. It's 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 pretty long. So we got to we got to okay go let's through get, some stuff. Let's get to um, it. So okay. So one thing we wanted to mention was. Uh, we have the Patreon thing, the $10 Patreon thing. We did the thing last week with the Miss, what is it called, Miss Junior Wisconsin or Miss Preteen? Miss, yeah, Miss Junior America Wisconsin Preteen. That's yeah, the full title. But there were a lot that didn't look like preteens. They looked like they were full teens in there. That's what I'm, hmm. preteen? Not, I don't know. Like I mean, really that, tall one? Do you remember the really yeah, tall one? She didn't look like a preteen. That's an awkward age. I think it was all 12 and under. But yeah, that's true. Anyway, Girls that's, develop quicker. That's the, yeah, I think we should get off this topic. But that, that's the uh, EP mode, which is for the $10 backers. You get a bonus episode every month. We watch uh -huh. an entire video. This one mm -hmm. is almost two hours. Yeah, but um, so in it, at one point, so you remember we, we showed this video a while ago. There's one little girl who says that she'd like to thank her sponsor, Dr. Zussman, her orthodontist. Yes. For I don't know if he paid her money or whatever, but during the boring part, during the EP thing, we called Dr. Zussman, and I he didn't answer, but I left him a message and I gave him Nick's number, and uh, told him to call him back. Yeah. But I did actually give your real number. <laughs> yeah, you did. You're like <laughs> for, so call back. Uh, this is we're taping it live. You're like yeah, so call back and you give him my actual number. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, and but, then I said, oh, great. I guess if you get $10, you get access to my cell phone number. Yeah, but, uh, then, but then you actually got some texts later I did. on from, from Patreon people who saw your Yeah, who which heard was nice number. to be able to respect my privacy. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got one. Actually, Steve, can you put up that one text message? Yeah, he sent a picture of uh, David Wilhite, the lotto, winning Lotto yeah. Lotto Secrets. And uh, he said, uh, you should give out Joe's number at the next one. So um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We're going to have a vote. Uh, for what the next um, thing is, and, and please stop texting me, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Be a ten dollar Patreon member and get Nick's phone number and text him whenever you want. No, just I'd, like rather, if you, I'd yeah, rather you didn't. If you need a shoulder to cry on, or Steve. Uh, just one thing, and I was going to get into this in comments con corner, but uh, we have coming later. But people wanted to know: Do they get access to the old um, EP, the oh, old for bonuses? Patreon? Yeah. Yes, people absolutely. Yes, if you sign up now, you get access to all the old Patreon, all the old like ten dollar level stuff. So yeah. yes, you absolutely. And just last do. week, we don't I delete just, that off. Just last week, I was like, you know what? I we found crazy crazy worship, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to post it just for the patrons. So you know, you get little surprises like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah, and we got Funny Man the album. That's it might, right. It might be up now. Is it up now? I yeah, probably. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um, okay. So. It is. You guys are stepping all over my uh, comments corner. Okay, oh, we'll sorry, get sorry, into sorry. it later. We won't, we won't bring it up. So one thing I wanted to correct from last week was that I forgot the name of the dude who sent us uh, a video, and I'm forgetting what the video was. Uh, but it was Dave Hawkins who sent. Oh, Spirit of Caring. Yeah. Is what that was he like sent. The one you're holding yeah. in your hand. <laughs> Oh, boy. What is the name of that? Oh boy, video. Uh, yeah, Spirit of Caring is the video that he sent, and it's Dave from from Grand Rapids mm -hmm. who sent it. And I'm sorry, Dave, for forgetting your name, but he's given us so much good stuff. Yeah. I thought just out of respect, I would just play a little bit more from the Spirit. Oh, of Caring. that's nice of you. Yeah. yeah. I thought that maybe. This is the uh, one called. Uh, it's the one about surgery. cataract surgery experience. Okay. So we'll just play. Pretty you know, we'll just play, play, play which is the clear okay. membrane that covers and protects the oh, sclera. Okay. Steve, can you? Also, one of the fastest. He's actually putting his hand over the. Oh, look at they're oh they're ripping the eyelid off. Usually, there is no sutures needed. Okay. Too Great. Right. So that was nice. I'm sure Dave will appreciate that. I just thank you, Dave, for, yeah. for spirit of caring. Also, Dave sent us. He emailed us some photos. Um, you want to bring those up, Steve? Oh, that was Dave that sent. Those. Yeah, Dave okay. sent us his photos yeah. of uh, just cool things that he found. One was an insurance company All right. uh, called Elf Insurance. <laughs> That's great. Hey Dave, Thanks, Dave for that. feel free to keep sending these, but next time landscape mode, I mean, I just, not, oh, yeah, not yeah. to it's just, it's just better split for hairs here, yeah. but, uh, and if you send any things that have elf in it, please send it landscape mode. He said there's another thing, a uh, graffiti that says VCR that, that's by his house that he walks by. That's every pretty day. cool. That pretty Thank cool. you, Dave. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking maybe we could do a new corner where people send us in like cool pictures of things and cool, like nice things. And we'll just call it uh, nice things corner. That's great, like, yeah. Like, like Dave sent us two cool pictures of Elf Insurance sure. and VCR Graffiti. Send us in some cool things, and, you, and we'll show the cool that's things. That's a good idea, and I think you know we'll do that as a segment. If you want to make it a corner, great. That's a decision we'll have to make uh, together. In, in, in our writer's meeting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that meeting, and it'll be like, is it, is it corner worthy? <laughs> uh, but the, the thing I was going to mention is before our 
uh, found footage festival live shows happen. We have a big like pre-roll as people enter that plays for a half hour with music yeah. and slides, and there are a lot of slides that are stills from the video and VHS tapes, but we put some random ones in there from the road, that we've, yeah. shots we've taken from the oh. road. So if there are some good things like VCR and graffiti that people send us in. Oh, Elf Insurance should totally go on that slideshow. You slide could show. see your photo up on the big screen before Volume 9 debuts in April. Yes, so that that's was one. a great idea, yeah. I like that. So yeah. send in your night photos of nice things, thrift store finds, graffiti. Elf Insurance pictures. <laughs> Actually, we only want Elf Insurance pictures. Yeah. That's the only thing we want. Well, like a guy sent us a picture of his daughter in, in front of Harkness Insurance. That's totally going I mean, in the slideshow. That's going to be in the slideshow yeah. and people will not know what it is, but yeah. <laughs> uh, a few people who watch this show live will. Um, Let's get in the guest. Okay, so I'm excited. This is a good one. Yeah. We already taped it. It's really good. She was in earlier today, and uh, her name's Adrian Kiss, and she's an on-air presenter uh, for products on QVC, and she's done some other things like that. We know Adrian because we did some comedy videos um, for a company, for Howcast. company called Howcast. Yeah. And uh, we were looking for actresses who were funny, and um, we met her through a friend, and she was like our go-to person for these Yeah, these and now she's at QVC. Yeah. Now and she's like a regular on QVC. Right, and uh, so we wanted to do an all-home shopping-related segment and get, you know, find out her insights about this. Yeah. Yeah. So um, she oh, did. She had some great insights. Yeah. So we're gonna throw to what we taped earlier today. It's uh, us with Adrian Kiss. Hi, uh, Adrian. Thanks for Adrian. being here. Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> thank you. I've yes. been excited about this episode for a long time. So I've been planning this one for yeah. so long. <laughs> I've, I've been like changing what I wanted to show you, and like uh, there's so much good stuff. I'm so yes. excited. It's, I'm it's so, so good. Yeah. Yeah. And so we we'll, we'll, we might have some questions for you throughout this, cool. but I thought it was best maybe to just kick off with one of the very first videos we found. Um, and uh, it, actually a friend of ours, Jamie, was working at a warehouse in like a lumber company mm -hmm. in Wisconsin in college. And uh, apparently this uh, warehouse used to house a regional home shopping channel what? that was based out of Wisconsin and Ohio and it, it would you know just broadcast in the Midwest. This it was, was like right when home shopping came out too. It was I think like eighty six. Like, I think it was like oh. very early on. Oh yeah. yeah, so they were like kind of pioneers. They were. Yeah, yeah, and cool. they had no idea what they were doing either. <laughs> no well, clue. so he yeah he found this box and they're just going through these old boxes and this one was just covered in dust and then he found this tape here. This is the actual this tape. This is the too. actual tape. This this is going to be in the Smithsonian right here. Yeah. Sell 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 sell. sell. <laughs> so somebody labeled it that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have put Jamie's address on here, but I think he, that's his address oh. from like 25 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, we got this when we were in college and got obsessed with these two home shopping hosts from um, this is Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and it was called America's Value Network. Mm. You've never seen John and Johnny before. Adrian. No, I'm no, so no. excited yeah. for you. You're oh, going to see. So you're going to you're going to hear Sergeant Peppers for the first time. Ever. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, so <laughs> not to like set my expectations no, 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 too that, high. That, that, yeah, if anything, yeah. we're underselling. Yes, this, exactly. Yeah. No, so uh, the they uh, are just. I think the mo at that time was just be as enthusiastic as possible, like uh, kind of like a, a used car salesman, like on a commercial or right. something, where you're just kind of going right in yes, there. Yes. Yeah, not yeah. Okay. Um, more, more yelling than than <laughs> right. telling. So I've put together three different excerpts from this we the only uh the tape that we got this tape only had 30 minutes of them on it mm -hmm. so i'm gonna just i broke it up into small little parts so here's uh some highlights from john and johnny part one of john and part johnny. one as so we excited. found this tape yeah that's not it okay <laughs> i was like that looks kind of relaxed yeah um because i recorded this on a different tape all right oh, oh here's we're, america's we're, you gotta rewind to see here all the song the song <laughs> yeah. is so great From the heartland of America, it's America's Value Network. Value Television up. home shopping with a value difference. Now, with this hour's parade of bargain buys, here are your AVN personal shoppers. Yeah! You know what? <laughs> You like to be in style, you like to be designerish, we've got them here. Designerish. Oh, this, is <laughs> this is going to be a fun filled. Great hour, low quality, well, actually great quality, low prices, <laughs> so low quality. Low this is the beginning of the show. It's the but very beginning. Further ado, let's move on. We're going to play Value Bucks 2 this special hour, so stay by the phone. Let's go to Johnny Rhodes. 
Give us a call right now, 1-800-553-6644. Pick up the phone, 12, 11, oh, 10, 9. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. this still the countdown when an item's ending? Right You're right in the middle yes. of, yeah. of where yeah, we are starting the off hour, the right, <laughs> and then the hour off right. Oh, look at this, we're going on to the next one. Let's go jog over Wait, to the next one. so you can hear Johnny trying to flounder there. We're starting the off hour, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. You're right in the middle of. Uh, we are starting the off hour. The right. I mean, the hour off right. <laughs> We're starting the off <laughs> hour. The right. The you couldn't have said that more wrong. Nivia, or Navia, with depending on where you're from. Or Navia. And. Or not the eye? No. <laughs> it's no, no, no. He's joking. Put their here. <laughs> here it is. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> we are Basic having so human much fun. We're you right here on the Fragrance and Fashion Review with the John and Johnny And I don't think the way you pronounce is Nivea is, is a regional Soft thing. Soft bristles. It's just, it's just, it's just Nivea. So that you can get into it. I'm sorry. i got to rewind. There's so many lines in this thing. He, 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 listen to how he describes the toothbrush here. <laughs> fashion Review with the John and Johnny Show. This is great. Look at this soft bristle toothbrush, angled so that you can get into it. Now, you have a disposable <laughs> razor. Easily comes off long handle, so it's easy for shaving. <laughs> and you have a comb right here. Ah, oh, this is great. Look at the teeth on those comb. <laughs> Look at the teeth so on nervous. those comb. I just I want to pause it because already there's two lines that I, I think we say daily. One is desirish. <laughs> yeah, I use the word desirish yeah. all the time. And then also look at the teeth of those comb. You know. Oh yeah, you like whenever that? yeah whenever like yeah you see something like like uh, like a cool car or something you're like <laughs> oh look at the teeth on yeah. those comb. Do you also <laughs> find that when you're trimming your beard you go. <laughs> yep. Every morning. Every morning. And thank God they had the long handle. I don't know how anybody shaved before you had. <laughs> There's so many lines in this. Yeah. This is, All right. Fantastic. So, oh, hello, shopper. Hello. You're talking right here. Live in America. In America. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Rhodes. That's me. And John Freeman's. He's over there. Wow. <laughs> how are you, dear? I'm very fine, thank you. Uh, I've been waiting for your call. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I like your personality already. Be careful. <laughs> What's your first name? Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Hi. And where oh, are you calling shot. from? Uh, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Oh. Nothing. She must be watching. Nothing's got nothing. <laughs> it's our green I don't think he's ever taken an impact. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, Lord, no. Minutes from there. Wow, that sounds like it's right there by town. <laughs> you know what I mean? 45 minutes, that's not very far away, is it? No, it isn't. Boy, when you live in a big area, like if you live out here where we live, by Eau Claire, 45 minutes, you go to the other state. <laughs> uh -huh. What the hell is he talking about? I'll take the L. It makes no sense. L. She goes, uh-huh. Whoa, $25. <laughs> Look at that. Do you guys have belly bucks on your show? No, no, no. Awesome. You should, you should start like bringing it back. Yeah, 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 you really cool. should. I just want to play. She's won 25 value bucks here and listen to her now reaction. Now tell me, how do you feel? Wonderful. Come on now. Let me hear you sound like you feel wonderful. Whoopie ding. All right. <laughs> Whoopie ding. <laughs> So already we got three, part one. three lines. See, we didn't undersell that. No, or, not at all. Or, or, or oversell it. <laughs> like, yeah, we undersold it. Yeah. So you, you were mentioning it only gets better. beforehand, you, you take calls from viewers. Mm -hmm. And is it always the, the, the night, you, kind of overnight shift, or it depends? Uh, it, it really depends. Yeah. Okay. I know. So I, I wish I could say it was just overnight, and then I'd probably have funnier stories. But yeah, <laughs> all hours. <laughs> but what is it like taking viewer calls? Because anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Yeah. yeah. So do you get pranks? What, like, how do you deal with. Well, they're so well screened. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. And are they on a delay? So if somebody says like a swear word, do they have the mute button yes. and everything? Yes, okay, they so are everything's on a delay. On it. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, I miss <laughs> no. the good old days. <laughs> I know. You could just call up and just yell a swear word. <laughs> that was the best. But uh, on the receiving end of the call, are like, mm -hmm. like, what tips would you have? Like, he obviously didn't know what to say to that woman at all. He had nothing like to offer her. <laughs> he couldn't even make small talk. I think a tip would be uh, say something. Act like a human. Yeah. <laughs> no, like a I human mean, being. I've taken an improv class in my life. It's yes and. You know, right. she says she's from Eau Claire. You go, oh, I hear it's nice this time of year. Even if you've he never just, even heard of Eau Claire. He goes, right. uh huh. <laughs> like he just in the it was mood. Blank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. But yeah, uh. my tips would just, I think, I mean, just basically my main tip in life, just smile and nod. <laughs> <Just> smile <laughs> you don't and know nod. what someone's it's talking me. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gotten, gotten me, me yeah, so it's far. Gotten me have, have there been any memorable calls that you remember receiving? Or are they all pretty... Well, I used to sell beauty products, and so... I, there were just a few times where, like, say it's a body lotion and a woman starts to talk about, you know, how much it's helped the acne on her butt. <laughs> and you're just, like, trying to sell this luxury lotion and you're just like, 
Wow. Like, and trying to be encouraging. Yes, and. Do you ever, do you ever, like, start to crack up? Or, like, do you, oh, yeah. are, is there, like, snickering back, like, you can look at the camera guy and he starts laughing? Yep, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. like, you see the camera shaking a little bit. Oh, I bet there's <laughs> yeah. some magical moments. And you do yeah. cut away, not the commercial, but do you cut away to pre recorded things? Yeah, we will. So Thank then God. can you kind of <clears throat> commiserate about the cause? You the can, last yeah, quality? but, you know, yeah. I'm such a parent. I mean, you guys know you both work in TV, but, like, I'm just so paranoid about my mic being on, yeah. so I just keep it. Oh, I try right. to keep exactly. it professional. Oh, we've yeah. been burnt by that before. I bet you have. Oh, yeah. we have. When we were noobs, oh boy, we yeah. made so many microphone blunders. Yeah, it's oh, real yeah. Bill O'Reilly uh, style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's bad. All right, yeah. I'm going to show you one. This one, I don't even know where we got this. Probably at a thrift store somewhere in the Midwest. It's for this, uh, it's a VHS tape called Video Log. Mm -hmm. And we've shown this before. Some people will have seen Video Log. Excerpts, yeah. But, but these are all new. So what they did it was basically home shopping on VHS. So you'd, mm -hmm. you'd pop in this tape and they would sell you stuff. They'd have a phone number and an item number. Oh, and you could call up. So yeah. it wasn't live, but they always had the phone line. Yeah, and I think, oh. that, I think this is from like 1981. Oh. So well, it, it was well, based in New York. Pioneer. This company was based in New York. And I don't know, I think they were short lived because we've only ever found one of well, these tapes. Well, and I think there's a lot of bullshit here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you <laughs> four <laughs> different <laughs> videos. I don't think that these things are actual products. I don't think that you could actually buy these. We'll watch. All right, okay. Here, here's the video. Maybe it was log. like Kickstarter. If somebody called, then they'd make it. But you know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they had a three D printer. I bet. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's what it was. Oh, stuff it like was. that. They have like an Alexa in here. You'll see the Alexa. <laughs> it's video. Fine merchandise. Video log. The discrimination. Because you see not only how the products look, but how they perform as well. All video log products are just a free phone call. That number doesn't work anymore. We've tried. I was going to ask you before if you tried. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Immediately. That was the first thing we did. Let your car yeah. give you a lift next time you have to change a tire. With the air jack, changing a tire is safe, fast, and extremely easy to do. After blocking okay, so how the are you going to inflate it? Slide the inflatable jack under the car. No! There's no way! The the carbon monoxide? <laughs> so so you, have a, you have a to bag that might pop at any second full of hose. And you're going to get on the car. Yeah. Back on the ground. Okay. And then the exhaust and then she's just, yeah. yeah. And she's like, oh, it's so funny. That is the least, least safe way. I've never even heard of that. I've never heard of this before. No. It's like the rejuvenique face mask where they... Hello again. My name is Detective Jill Wednesday. This was a little long-winded, but... <laughs> it's You're not the only one who loves your VCR. Thieves now prize these machines more than stereos, TVs, and cameras. That's why I recommend B.I.B. Video Alarm. It's your best defense against a VCR I thief. Reading his cue card. Yeah. <laughs> Video Alarm is impossible we gotta to remove these. or disarm oh. without the correct key. It operates on a 9-volt battery and is available for beta or VHS format. When a thief tries to remove the VCR, video alarm sensitive triggering device will set off a continuous, deafening 98 decibel scream. <laughs> Order yours now. We gotta, we gotta get like you six of those. This. You guys literally need these. Because I see VCR uh, thieves prowling around here all the time. Oh, they yeah. look exactly like that guy. In this neighborhood? <laughs> Hello, my Backward. name is Gus okay. Searcy, and I'm here to introduce <laughs> you to a the, highly unique product. This, guy's the this is Butler in a Box, the ultimate appliance by Master Voice. Godfrey. May I help you? Lamp. Okay. On. Better day. No way. They didn't have this Godfrey. technology in the early days. Fan, please. As you command. As you command. Fan, please. On. Better day. Right away. In addition to controlling real. lamps and fans, you can no also way. do TVs and stereos. Hello. TV set. Okay. On. As you command. Come over. And then when you go to bed at night, it would go something like this. Lamp. As you command. Good night. Goodbye. Oh, I want to find In addition to doing all yeah. this, I, I want to talk to him. Yeah, he has a weird name. Telephone. Oh, he's doing a phone call. Okay. John. Better day. He would actually open the phone line, dial the phone number, become a two-way speakerphone, and allow you to hang up when you're finished. Butler in a Box, the ultimate appliance by Master Voice. Call 1-800-692-0069. And wow. The future's here. The, wow. the future has that arrived. That did predict no the Alexa, way. I think. It yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's, I've never seen anything. 
I just wow. have to wonder if it's real. I know. At I, your command. I think there's so much bullshit in there. <laughs> there's one in there that they had, and we played this one before, where they have uh, gloves that you can wear while you're reading the newspaper. And they sell so you they gloves. Don't so you don't get ink on your hands? The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Like, that's but not that, a real thing. Yeah, that makes sense, though. Isn't it just like a latex know, glove? Exactly. Yeah, can't that's you just it. wear anything? <laughs> yeah. It was um, called Gloves of the Times, I think, yeah. is the, yeah, the right. name of that. Yeah. How do you get into uh, into home shopping? How do you get into that world? Mm, that's a great question. Well, I love like TV hosting. I do just literally. I just love kind of that interaction. But it's just a great way to talk about something you love. I only I would only ever like present products I feel yeah. like strongly about. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't It'd think you'll see fake. me with the VCR thief. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, not that that's not a good idea. Um, but yeah, I think I just met some uh, folks up in New York. Um, where I work is outside of Philadelphia, but I know they tape down in Florida, and there's like smaller ones like for NBC and other networks that nice. do home shopping. Okay, yeah. cool, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what about um, bloopers? Do you guys have like a, a blooper reel at the end of the year and everything? God, you guys have like we a... totally should, but it's so funny because like YouTube does that for us. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there's like oh. people like, and I guess what's that show? The suit, like these people, like they catch up. They're monitoring the, yeah, you they're at, they're all mon- at all times. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because I know a lot of news stations will have, like, at the end of the season, they'll have their blooper reel and mm-hmm. stuff. And I thought I thought your editors must have some God, good stuff. Seriously, but, I should yeah. ask them. Talk yeah. to your editors, would you? I will, yeah. yeah. I think in the old days they probably did, you know. They had mm-hmm. blooper reels. But, yeah, you're right. Now that everything's online, you, somebody is Someone's finding those bloopers yeah. if yeah. something goes wrong. Well, that, that's actually a good segue into John and Johnny John Part 2. Yes. Oh, and, by the way, um, one of these... Well, I'll give the updates later, but... Um, I think I'm gonna to have to rewind a little bit, but here's more of John and Johnny. And a couple things have gone wrong here, but it, it aired. But they on always TV. do. Yeah. All right, that's, and that's the why end we love of them. value books. Whoopie ding. <laughs> ah, you're probably wondering what we're doing. Ah. We're shopping for Christmas early. We avoid the rush, the headaches, and the money crunch. Like that idea? Don't miss Avian's Christmas special, Friday, September 4th. Sit back, relax. At Avian, you'll find the perfect oh, Christmas beautiful. gift for that special man. <laughs> Or lady oh, for the young, for the young and hard. Oh, oh, you'll Christmas. enjoy the shoppers. It's yours right there. Uh-huh. John's gonna come over. Also in the gold wire rim. Sure, I'll put there the gold in. Oops. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. See, oh no. this is live, live TV. <laughs> live TV. <laughs> Clutch, they call him. You go, I hand it to him, right? And he drops it. Hey, look, and they didn't break. <laughs> no, absolutely. These not. are good quality. Eddie, you know, what? even if they did break, you have right. replaceable yeah. lenses. He, he moved, That's the nice aspect. Yeah, good segue. Not only. Can you I put rewind? I'm sorry. I want to talk <laughs> over these, but like, there's so many great lines. That's the nice aspect. Is a <laughs> line. Is that that good yeah. Yeah. You know, even if they Listen. did break, you have replaceable lenses. That's the nice aspect. And not only <laughs> can you put towels on this, but you can also put jackets up here like this. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down even lower. Go right underneath furniture if you'd like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He kept it together. He kept it together pretty well. He did. Wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta oh. listen to the setup. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of rewinding here. Five hundred and forty-six thousandths of a gram, which is <laughs> more than, more than. Oh, <laughs> something they are more something <laughs> Might have been the Nivea. <laughs> Nivea. Television. We don't know. This is fun, Nivea. Isn't it? <laughs> Depending on where you're what from. What do we? Uh, Nivea. What a special price, Johnny. I mean, seriously, today's padded Lady's shoulder dress. look found in this dress. <laughs> today's God, padded, padded shoulder look. That gives you the now look. <laughs> That's right. Now. And those are all pressed powder. And the nice thing about pressed powder is that it's not going to be getting all over the place. And if you sneeze, it'll stay right there. Exactly. Look at the details. You can, see, you can actually see the, the little nut that the, the mother chipmunk has. Chip 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 getting it ready for a youngster and junior's uh, consumption. Sure, that's what they have to do. You know, the mother chipmunk always takes care of the young, chews it up so the little chipmunk. I thought have any teeth I yet. thought birds did that. Well, uh, so do these because little chipmunks don't have teeth. I love the rambling. Oh, little chipmunks. Here we go. <laughs> insert I one love finger. the rambling. <laughs> and that's the position you you insert it into your ear. Well, actually, your ear lobe. <laughs> you can tell I don't wear, <laughs> I don't wear earrings. You don't put it in your ear. Don't put anything in your ear. That's one thing where ladies <laughs> really nice. have it over us guys. Let's face it. When they wear, when they wear uh, lipstick and lip creams, their lips don't chafe and chap. You know, and it's like. Uh, we we guys we got to carry around you know those little vials there or whatever uh, what you is know, he the, talking about? the lip <laughs> balm so that we can keep our lips nice and and uh, lubricated. <laughs> you know, Johnny. Seriously, yeah, I, it does. It helps. And then, like in the '60s, uh, that cult movie came out. 
What was it? Uh, easy Rider. <laughs> Mine's out of tune, but <laughs> look at it. It is so nice, beautiful. We'll be right back right after that. <laughs> this, is, this is only 30 minute excerpt. We only have 30 minutes of this. There's probably hundreds of hours out there of this. You have to the find gold this. out there. The uh, Christmas this special gold. that they're advertising. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. We'll be right back right after that. I mean, <laughs> right every, after that. Yeah, that I'm is sure nice. there's some malapropisms <laughs> that happen on live TV. What do you do? You just roll with time. it, right? You just roll with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you do you correct that, yourself? I think, or that, you? I think, yeah, you can correct yourself if you've said something wrong. But I think the hilarious thing about John and Johnny is they're so nervous and keyed up that when the mistake happens, you can just, I can feel their brain short circuit. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's exactly it's what like, happens. I wondered oh, if there so was good. some sort of stimulant involved. I'm, I'm not, I don't know for a fact, right. but it seemed like they were a little, little. too When he hyper. said he carries his vial around with him everywhere, yeah, I was he, like, are you sure there's chapstick yeah. He did use the word vial, vial yeah. too. Right, yeah. <laughs> And we've done we've done um, shows in Seattle and, and one in uh, Tampa, and one guy lives in Tampa, the other's in Seattle. So we met them on separate occasions. Oh my gosh! And what they told us was that um, they had to be on the air for eight hours straight. Whoa! Which what are your shifts? That's normally? really intense. I own the most I've ever done is two, and the ho the, like the hosts three, four max. Oh okay, really? That's eight is the insane. Right. Yeah. Oh wow! So you can imagine. That's insane. Yeah, you got to cut them some slack. And Absolutely. Also, yeah, they were getting that direction, and then they didn't mm -hmm. know what product was going to come next. They didn't have a fact sheet. They just kind of had. They said to, this to you. Yeah. That they I just, can't even imagine. I would. Yeah. They just made stuff up. You know, <laughs> like put, put this in your ear, and like you know, and that's it. So they yeah. could, they just winged it for eight hours. Oh, I'm so jealous you got to meet them. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. I'll have a uh, further update in a minute. I'm going to oh, go ahead fine. and say close personal friends. I'm going to go ahead and say wow. that. That's yeah. Right. yeah. All right. This is a brand new find. I just found this one on the shelf recently. And I, I'm, I'm I haven't a little, seen this. Actually. You haven't seen it. No. It's, oh man. I've only watched maybe 15 seconds of it and mm -hmm. I could already tell it was a winner. <laughs> You're like done. So, so we, we have this uh, video that we, we put, that we make our own copies called mm -hmm. Strange Men. We put it out on VHS only <laughs> and we use our old tapes to record over them. Mm -hmm. So I recorded over this old tape of a VCR uh, uh, strange men and at the end it stopped and I watched what was afterwards and it was this I had taped over a lot of this I was so oh, pissed at myself and you'd never seen this before never seen this before <laughs> it was unlabeled I was so pissed when I and I so but anyway there's some salvaged and I've only watched 15 seconds of it oh and gosh. I can already tell that it's a winner so this I'm is excited. it's it's called oh. auction alley and, all that and, and this where is how you it's be. and I guess it is this table's closed I think it's like on public access or something. Feels like, yeah. So you can bid, you can call up and bid. Tractor alarm okay, clock. Okay, here we Do are. Ninja the next weapon. table. <laughs> <laughs> <first Yeah>. <laughs> will be my C coffee table. All right, now listen to this very closely. There you can see it has your light green antique to it. It is all wood. There at the glass covering the table, new item in the box. <laughs> I've also got your choice just... of wallets. I have polio sport. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear somebody, somebody polo. Says... Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> Levi's. He knows that one. Tommy Sport. Yeah. Oh, they all look like the same wallet with, they different, really do. with different logos, but yeah. It is. Nike, and yeah. I'm giving your choice too for one money on the Velcro fold out oh. wallets. Mm -hmm. There you can see they come with zippered areas, oh, areas nice. for driver's nice license aspect. or photos. You unzip that, put your money in it. Let's deal two for one money. Those are the new items. So you have to Here we have to choice your money out. between <laughs> your, your authentic Harley Davidson pocket knife. That makes sense. Chain. Looks like yeah. a gas tank. <laughs> New item. I, th I think this is a, I think optionality is about quantity over quality. Absolutely. Don't you think? It's just like, yeah. let's see those more stuff. New yeah. items. Yeah. Here we have our decor. This is more than I've ever seen before. Snowman. Yeah. I don't know when to stop. All good. And there's no That's theme. It's not like a fashion fragrance review. It's just like, yeah. here's American. some stuff. Here's a Harley knife and here's a polio sport knife. Uh, okay. Not a scarf, but your pocket hanky. Oh yeah, American mm. flag. Lawyer knows in the American flag. <laughs> American flag, very Some sheer. Marines folded yeah, at the end of every Very sheer. That was actually a good description. Was, I, I'm gonna say 
Here he's we have. good. Uh, really? He showed the wallet. Yeah. I was like, Easter, he like he gestured towards it. He opened it. Like, I always want to see inside. Snow <laughs> globe also. And this camera <laughs> works. No, yeah. You get the no, you're right. He's pretty good. Also. For public access, you think he's better than this uh, <laughs> snow globe right there? The glass egg. <laughs> really it's musical. They turn. You lift this portion up here. Oh, is a spot it's a music box where you can put on. your rings, necklaces, earrings. Check it out. Marijuana. The the <laughs> now this comes in a very sturdy, heavy-duty box in case you'd like to uh, ship it to friends or family. That's a new item. Pretty Have good. Yeah, a he's good. This is his first road. 900 <laughs> megahertz telephone. Oh, that's a unit then, yeah. That's, that's a hell of a transition, too, yeah. going from the Easter Bunny that. scene to right. the... Yeah. Yeah. the uh, 10 number tech. memory, 32-digit redial, auto talk, auto standby, 20-channel auto scan, long life battery. I don't see item. nothing about okay. yeah. Next yeah. item. Yeah. Next yeah. We, haven't, we don't know where to end this because we're just watching it for the it first It could be time. anything. Good item yeah. on the cordless phone. Up above there, we have your American Indian on its pony. High tailing it across oh. the countryside. That's definitely a touch lamp. High tailing it across <laughs> the countryside. <laughs> That's really and good. Oh, yeah, the, the dust can come on it and just make it go to the next level. And it is the new item 110 plug in. I also have three for one money. What other garbage do I have lying around? That's kind of like the moose. Uh, oh, that fell down. That yeah. the light jacket brought the whole thing down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. I, wow, that's he's pretty good. good. He's right. good, yeah. I, you know, I, I watched it for the first 10 seconds, and he, he called polo sport polio sport. Polio. And I was like, oh, this guy's <laughs> yeah, going to be terrible. Yeah, he polio. I thought for yeah. sure he was going to be terrible. Well, he doesn't know the designer yeah. brands, but yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Calvin. Honestly, to me, that was very forward thinking because didn't wasn't it like a new thing like my Calvin's like maybe he's that's true that. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah oh yeah oh he's just using it like yeah right. just like, like I know he these just shortened it <laughs> Calvin and I are on a first name <laughs> basis that guy's good I mean he I'm had so a quarter away from the camera to grab the garbage behind him you mm -hmm. know but then yeah. he would kind of you know turn he around was, and, yeah and, and whoever was up. behind the camera I mean the zoom yeah was just yeah <laughs> I'm you know I'm actually gonna lose sleep tonight now because <laughs> knowing that I taped over. An hour oh, of that. God, heartbreaking. I, I mean, it started off as like an AMC movie, and I thought, mm -hmm. oh, I can tape over this AMC right. movie. Then all of a sudden, at some point, it must have changed it to Auction, Auction Alley. Auction Alley. Auction Alley. Yeah. You should see if that <sighs> show's still around. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. There's a lot of VCR thieves prowling around that auction alley. Yeah. It's a dangerous alley. Yeah. Um, so the up the full update on John and Johnny is we were kind of obsessed with them. There was something magical about when the two of them were together. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, is there some way we could reunite them? But they literally lived, uh, they couldn't have lived further apart. You Seattle, Seattle and Florida. Tampa, yeah. yeah. So the one guy, John Cremans, is an on-air host. He still hosts infomercials and things like that. Oh we saw him on an infomercial recently. Oh, and yeah. he's I think on, he was at, yeah, he was at some he was at HSN. Was John the a Tampa. mustache one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So he was at HSN for a while and now mm -hmm. he kind of does I think in the last five years on air left. presenting. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and then the other guy also sold things. I think he was sold Persian rugs in Seattle. I'm not sure what he's doing now. It took a long time, but we convinced the guy from Seattle to fly down. We spent way too much money yeah. to fly him down <laughs> to Tampa. We were in Tampa. And Put him up at hotels yeah. and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, here is the uh, moment that uh, the world was waiting for. It's wow. the job, Nobody else cared about this other than us. <laughs> this is just for us. This is fulfilling a fetish of ours. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that's him. That oh, was at the airport. I feel like I know out. him now. I know. I, yeah. see. I know I you can, can see yeah. that. Yeah. A little grayer, but that's yeah. Yeah. Johnny. My name is Johnny Rhodes, and uh, I've yep. just flown in. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you freeze up? Yep. So, give me one second. Okay. You guys just chat, ask your questions for a second. Okay. okay, sure. Oh, just the camera yeah, froze up in the back? back. Okay. My question was, do you get a fact sheet about the items? Oh like, yeah, okay. oh yeah, so you, you get know. to learn. Yeah, it's okay. not a John and Johnny situation okay. where you're just thrown in. That would right. be insane. Do you, do you have weirdo fans like us? Like like how we're fans of John and Johnny? Like, I and we call them up? Do you have weirdo fans I at all? I sadly or? don't have any weirdo fans. Okay, you don't like show like your like sweet. Twitter or anything? Like, you yeah, like, I kind I think I would like it if they if they followed me more. <laughs> oh really? My Facebook, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're supposed to engage these days, so you know. Right. right. Social media. Yeah, but you guys must have. Have, well, what's like your most far-reaching fan? 
What do you mean? Like, like geography wise. Oh, uh, we've got a guy named Reese in Australia who nice. we play a lot of TV commercial jingles from mm -hmm. local commercials and he'll sing them like oh. he'll for us and then send us oh. video of the him singing them. Uh, people <laughs> have sent us their own jingles. What do you need? You we, try to turn the camera back on. You guys don't talk to Yeah. Oh, you know what? This is, but this is like home shopping right now, this isn't it? It is, mm -hmm. yeah. Like you have to flounder sometimes. Yeah, you're right. Let's flounder. All right. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Well, I was going to ask you, we've, uh, the other day I was on tour in mm -hmm. Nebraska and mm -hmm. I saw the sign for a clown doll museum. So they, <laughs> they. Uh, oh, here he goes talking about his clown doll <laughs> museum. <laughs> I'll tell anybody who listens. Um, and it's basically a museum of 8,000 clown dolls that have been sent in. Oh so we've been having a pledge, gosh. not a pledge drive, people, <laughs> we want people to send us clowns so that we can have our own shelf at this museum in Nebraska. Oh, could you? Oh, is it like an antique store? Well, you have it's, your own shelf? it's basically like a, it's a museum, mm -hmm. but if you send in 15 or more clown dolls, you get your own little plaque there. <laughs> so we've only gotten one so far. But I wanted to show you this clown, and now, I mean, I know you haven't seen this, but how would you sell this to an audience on QVC, let's say? Oh my gosh, that's a wonderful um, question. So, basically, I would say... <laughs> really sell this. We've got a whole group of people uh, watching who maybe they'll call in and, and buy this from us. Yeah. So we'll and you got 15 minutes to do it, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like... If you're having a bad day, <laughs> yeah. and you really need like sympathy from something huggable, mm -hmm. you look at his face and you he knows how you feel, like he knows how hard it is. So this could be a great gift for someone who's having a bad day, maybe what? going through a rough patch. Okay. And then it's just like you have a little sympathetic friend. I like I like how you did that. <laughs> I like how you did that. You did, yeah, but but then but he's crying too. Oh, so uh, you were both I'm crying together. I'm saying like he's like it's kind of like a hug from someone who's who knows your pain. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, who's maybe doing, he's who's like, doing worse than you. He's there you makes go. you feel better. Makes you feel better, yeah. He's an he empathy it. clown. The yeah. empathy, empathy clown. clown. I think There's we just, just 15 named him. seconds left for this empathy <laughs> clown. So, um, it's going fast. It's I hear there's we're in limited cents. quantity. Yeah. Limited quantity. What do you just think one. about those prices? $7.86 for uh, John and Johnny? You think that, that was, was crazy. I thought their prices were very heavily slashed until it came to the makeup. That was $22 for a makeup palette and it was, in the it was, 80s. And it was originally right, 70 it said. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Like, I can get that at Dwayne Reed now for nine yeah, bucks. Yeah, exactly. So I'm a little confused about their math, uh, but... Well, thank you. I'll get some Purell mm -hmm. on your way out, but that's the, uh, <laughs> the empathy clown. Oh, you didn't so touch it, did you? that's number one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is 1896. All right, we're all fixed, right, Steve? Yes. All right. Okay, so let's watch the... Uh, j this is the moment you've been, waited so even exciting. longer for, <laughs> the John and Johnny Suspense reunion. Um, wait, were we halfway into this, or were No, no, we? no, start at the beginning. Just oh, start at the beginning. He's rolling his suitcase, yeah. Yeah, here we go. My name is Johnny Rhodes, and I've uh, just flown in. Yeah, we're sitting outside of uh, John's office and absolutely have no idea what John's been up to. I saw him once on air, and I called him, and I think he hung up on me. <laughs> All right, well, I'm John Cremans. Uh, I'm a national television host. I do uh, home, both home shopping, HSN. You actually have flown in, somebody I have not seen for I want to say 26 years. Uh, I guess nerves, you know, you, you have nerves and not really knowing what's going to happen. But yet it's, it's kind of fun. To see Johnny again, it's going to be absolutely cool. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait. If you get a little emotional here, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. <laughs> we have an American flag uh, hanky for you. <laughs> it's very sheer. <laughs> They're both they good looking great. Yeah, right? They are, yeah. 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 So that was the reunion, yeah. yeah. What was yeah. it like? Did you hang out with the two of them after the reunion? A little bit or? like yeah. there. We, we actually set up a green screen and had them sell some new products. <gasps> I brought I brought together. that footage as well. Oh, did you? Well. Yeah, okay, I, I kind of okay. recut it. But yeah, yeah we, but we actually we went to a sports bar afterwards and got dinner. Mm -hmm. I think they had a few too many drinks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Start like, spilling some. Well, like Johnny doesn't have a filter at mm -hmm. all, which right. you, you saw him oh, in, the, absolutely. in the first yeah. one. Yeah, there's no filter. Yeah. So which is what made them great, but that is amplified with the few drinks in them. So yeah. 
Um, it was just the right amount of time to hang out with them. Um, <laughs> right. But yeah, we had a bunch of, we've been on the road for a little bit in Florida, mm -hmm. and we had a bunch of stuff from thrift stores, because we, you know, not only get VHS tapes, but if something looks oh, interesting, we, yeah. yeah. So we uh, had them sell some of this garbage for us, because we were like, <laughs> the magic is when they're together selling things. Absolutely. So here's a little bit of them oh, nice. selling stuff for us. Uh, yeah. And we kind of recreated the old set on a green screen. Good work. Hey, coming up, we have the, the 25th anniversary edition Blu ray of Easy Rider. You remember Easy Rider? Oh, yeah, how could I forget? You put the sunglasses on. Well, next we have a video <laughs> mounting a climbing squirrel. It's a video so, we have got. Have you ever seen a climbing squirrel? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I want to mount Mounted? it. No, <laughs> they're really hard to catch, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they're fast. <laughs> First of all, there are little kittens in there, see? One, oh, oh. right? And there's some out here, and they're sparkly. So it's a little sparkly pussy right there. <laughs> No filter. Uh, no filter. Zero filter. Hey, and, and next up on the show, it's my mustache back from the AVN days. <laughs> the mustache. Yeah, no, I, I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think? It looks just like it was. Yeah. If I do this. Shows no <laughs> age. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. They still, Such sports. They still they got so, yeah, that exactly. little bit of it. that old AVN magic. I feel magic. like even though they hadn't seen each other, the chemistry was just reignited. I think they should get their own show. I um, really do. I would watch in it. In some capacity, whether mm -hmm. it's home shopping or if it's like, you know, mm -hmm. some show that they have on CBS. You know, or, yeah. <laughs> um, what do we got? One more? A buddy comment. That's, That's it, it for me. Yeah. Oh, you this got one. one more? Oh, I have one more. I'm so excited I don't know about what, this one. Oh, yes. I oh. know what this is. Okay. So, okay. So, I'll tell about where we got this one first. So, at the... the. I used to work at The Onion, mm -hmm. and when I was there, they would always talk about this one tape in the early days. So I was there maybe 10 years ago. They're mm -hmm. saying like right when The Onion started up, they would all go home after work, and they would watch Mike Rowe on QVC. <gasps> yes. From Dirty Jobs. From Dirty yes. Jobs. Mike yes. Rowe from Dirty Jobs. He got Jobs. his start. Is this yes. Mike Rowe? This is Mike Rowe. So, I? <laughs> oh, it's incredible. The yeah. one where he, do you have the one where he's selling the doll, and he just like loses, like, Hope. Oh, the porcelain like, doll? Yes. We, yeah. it, it's on this tape, but I'm okay. going to show you okay. the cherubs. Oh, so. I'm gonna show, have you seen the cherubs before? Oh, oh man. Cherubs it's so, so good. Exciting. But anyway, so the Onion guys would always go home and tape this. After, and they the, would, after being at the bars or working yeah. late. Yeah. It is on at 2 o'clock in the morning. And turn on this. And 2 o'clock in the morning on, in 1992, <laughs> and they would watch this. And I, I have a feeling like this really influenced the Onion in ways, you know, because he's, wow. he's so sarcastic. Yeah, you're so right. He's, like, this is like early just, days... Yeah, Onion, yeah. like watching Mike Rowe being super sarcastic. So he's like, like influenced media in ways that exactly. He, he does to. not give a shit Nothing. at all. No, he like, didn't give a fuck. And like, <laughs> how did he get hired on QVC? How did they keep him on the air? Legend has it that he got fired three different times. <gasps> yeah, really? they yeah. kept bringing him back. They but must have needed somebody. Or... Ooh, he's the one I'll who like said that. Oh, like put out my feelers into the world and yeah. try to figure out. What please, yeah, yeah, let's please get the whole cool story. <laughs> we, we also heard that this is from Wikipedia that he was working in an opera and across the street was QVC, and one of his friends dared him to, to crash the auditions, and they made a bet. He's like, I bet I can get on QVC <gasps> in one audition, and he did it. Because oh. he, he's a fucking pro. I mean, oh, yeah, this guy, he's good. And he has, man, he has probably... a voice like silk. Yes. <laughs> has and his vocabulary. His vocabulary yeah. is incredible. Yeah. He has a word to describe anything. So we're going to show you so uh, Mike excited. Rowe selling cherubs so, in its entirety. We're not, we imagine edit, drunk no onion editing. staffers and then 65 <laughs> women, 65 year old women in California watching. Collecting cherubs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is pure gold. Somebody quit. Oh, it's one of those lamps too. Remember <laughs> oh that my one? gosh, you're right. Yeah. Zimbalist Jr. Scared to hurt. Bro, this is QVC. This is and these <laughs> are cherubs. When was the last time you saw a chair? Well, if you play Trivial Pursuit and you look around the side of that board, the cherub's there. I'm sure <laughs> if you go to church and you take a look around, the uh, way the church is uh, decorated, you might find a, a cherub, either in a resting position or in full flight. <laughs> cherubs are, <laughs> full flight. I believe, uh, child angels, basically. <laughs> I think that's what they are anyway. This, that's certainly what they look like. They certainly look young, although they do have a, uh, a wizened look about them. <laughs> Wise beyond their years. <laughs> the wings, of course, are the first clue that we're not talking about uh, homo sapien necessarily. <laughs> Definitely a, uh, the first clue. a heavenly body. $19.07. 
and 75 cents brings you two earthenware cherubs, both wearing a, uh, a wreath in their hair, both looking uh, somewhat solemn, <laughs> and both rather underdressed. Each figure <laughs> does have a wreath of green leaves and multicolored uh, flowers on his head, not her head, these are, I'm not really sure, I mean, if uh, cherubs are... <laughs> and it pans uh, down, of course. <laughs> ...gender specific, although my information does refer to them in the masculine sense. H13641, again, is the item number. By turning one around, you can look at the back and the front. At the same time, get a pretty good idea of uh, the detail that exists on just about every angle of these cherubs. 4992, the current lucky number. Lucky Cherubim number. and Seraphim is uh, a phrase that comes to mind. <laughs> Old hymn, I think. Holy, 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 that's the name of that hymn. Cherubim and Seraphim falling down before me. Well, you don't want to let these fall. They are made of earthenware and they won't, uh, <laughs> they won't do too well with impact, I'm afraid. What a pro. Nice full head of hair, though, don't you think? It's full head of hair. <laughs> that's something you could say about those. Nineteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Why? That's not even ten dollars a cherub. <laughs> Very inexpensive as cherubs go. Very inexpensive but, uh, as cherubs go. But a lovely go. way to uh, to decorate. Again, around the holidays, perhaps one on either side of the mantle or uh, near the Christmas tree. Perhaps uh, overlooking your nativity set or your. Na it's kind of the scene. opposite of John and John. He's got a calming exactly. sort of Bob yeah. Ross yeah. delivery. Off to the side. Mm -hmm. Very sarcastic One is delivery. Holding his hands in a prayer, and the other is sitting with a rose in his lap. <laughs> H13641 again is the item number. He's a little bit more like the off the guy, right? With yeah. Yeah. Castell Casuals. accents. Yeah. Uh, just to give them a little bit of color. As you can see through the uh, chest and the arms, a little blush on the cheeks. Also, a little blush on the cheeks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Made himself You've been outside just a little too long, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> this show is Ideas for Your Home. We do have another show called Gifts for the Home. That's a premiere show, by the way, and that's going to be coming up on Thursday. The first hour ever called uh, Gifts for the Home, devoted to getting your home ready for the holidays specifically. Of course, we're talking about that in a sense right now. Oh, yeah, the, the countdown. That would be the specific focus. Yeah, yeah. Holiday. Oh. I think we're going all the way down to zero. Gift home, home ideas. Holiday. Now, can you for get what more can you say Thursday at 7 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock on the Can you get the items after the countdown? The countdown's gone, or it's a special price for that? Actually, we don't do countdowns like this anymore. One. We just do countdowns for inventory. So if inventory's oh. getting low, the host, it's kind of ex I think it's exciting. They hear it in their ear, who, and they like let you know. Be? There's only 200 left. Well, there's exactly, yeah. yeah. Definitely. There's Michael the Archangel, right? Oh, he's, he's there's Gabriel. The now. <laughs> <laughs> there's an angel. Maybe these are a young Michael and a young Gabriel, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the three wise men? Remember their names, Kurt? <laughs> Kurt. 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 No, no, frankincense was uh, something else altogether. <laughs> Kurt no, said myrrh. frankincense and myrrh. It was Melchior, yeah. Balthazar, and Caspar. Off the top of his head? The friendly smart. wise man. Smart, smart. Yeah. smart. Really smart. smart. H13641, $19.75. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else can I tell you about a chair that you may <laughs> you really have? You're like, come on, what else is there? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to find a word. Cherubical information. <laughs> Precious little I cherubical up information. For the show. It said, see earthenware. And sure enough, that's what we have here. Earthenware cherubs, a pair of them. A brace of cherubs. <laughs> cherubs, I guess cherubs is plural for cherub. Cheruby. <laughs> Cheruby. <laughs> still uh, it. Two of them. Let's keep it simple, $19.75. H, 13641. It's almost like a... Like I, yeah, no, he, he talks about, he, he talked about like being fired three times. <laughs> and I, I, I can see why. Like, you can see why. Do you think that's sarcasm? Do you think it affected the way people bought? Or did people just like watching him probably? Or yeah, like, I, I try to think, yeah, like how I would take that if I was literally going on air or watching to buy cherubs. Yeah. Like, would he convince yeah. me to not buy them? <laughs> right. The pausing just kills me. Yeah. It's I mean, just like, 
you could just hear his like yeah. angst. It's <laughs> such a watchable so show. He's hating There's every a, moment of it. You mm -hmm. can just tell he's, or maybe he's not. Maybe he's enjoying the fact that he's kind of doing a sardonic take on it. Right. It almost feels I'd like Letterman or like a Chevy Chase kind of a, you Absolutely, know, yeah. yeah. This, by the way, I should show this cover too. This is, um, <laughs> it's, it, this is the actual tape that they had at The Onion. It said, Precious Moments with Mike Rowe. Hope your day is full, <laughs> full of them. Of them. Oh, that's that's a classic them? line yeah. from the uh, from the video. That's great. At one point, he's, he's yeah. He's, I almost showed the precious moments one because that one's really. <laughs> that great was their too. compilation of yeah. them. Okay. You know what? We yeah. should have Todd Hansen on at some point. He's the one who recorded yeah. all that stuff. Oh, nice. Or have and Mike Rowe on too. Oh, I think yeah. That's we should get Mike Rowe. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. Oh, there's so much more on that tape. Too. Oh, yeah. have you so ever good. been at that point though, where you're like, there's nothing more I could say about this makeup set or, or beauty product or whatever you were selling? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So What's, what do you do? Especially when it's three in the morning and you haven't really slept, and <laughs> I think that's when you just get a little loopy. Like I'm sure yeah. you guys are, but like you've, I'm sure oh, yeah. you've been in a room trying to create something, and yeah. you just like I just think you and the host, you just start playing off each other. I mean, the, it can yeah. Get weird. Yes. Exactly. No. Some magic can happen <laughs> yeah. when you're in that kind of like super tired. We should do a mm -hmm. show sometime at like four in the morning or something. Sure. Yeah, just yeah. get weird. I'd be awake for that if you want to have me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're on that sleep schedule. <laughs> yeah. So people can see you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't know when you're going to be on, but mm -hmm. you just get called in and yep. you go and sell things on air. <laughs> That's and what right, kind of yeah. volume though? I'm curious about that. Like, Oh, it's incredible. Really? It's really incredible. Yeah. What's I, an example? Like you have a product and how much, is, how much does that sell? You could sell... I mean, you could sell f half a million dollars in an hour. Really? Oh my God. Or more. Well, you, more. But you were saying, like, that's pretty exciting, though, right? Like, yeah, when, like, it's the exciting. Inventory and you're well, like, have you guys seen the movie Joy? Like, you yeah. really do. You hear the sales in your ear. Right. And maybe that's part of what I like about it is because you can think, like, oh, my God, this is going fast. People are liking this. And, you know. Right. Yeah. There's an immediate oh, so feedback. You, you yeah, have, yeah. Immediate have an feedback. You that's why I like waitressing. I like immediate feedback. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. that's why I like yeah. mowing the lawn. Like you, you immediately so get to see it. You immediately get to see your work afterwards. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> cool. You know what? What about sarcasm on the show too? Does, does mm. that ever? Does that ever leak in? Like, or do you, do people notice it right now? Because I feel like maybe back then, 1992, they didn't notice Mike Rowe being sarcastic. Yeah, but I know. But now it seems more pervasive. But is it because we know Mike Rowe beyond? It yeah. could be. Yeah, yeah it's a I'm point. curious to know, too, yeah. like because we've. Uh, You've acted in some of our comedy videos and mm -hmm. stuff, and we know you have a good sense of humor and are a funny person. Do you have to tamp that down at all? Or no, can you, you that's oh, really? the best okay. thing. Actually, you guys should watch me because I would like to. I am on I... with some of the smartest, funniest really? women I have ever yeah. met. You have to be. And right? there's yeah, 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 and like when Micro was pulling words out, I was just like, I know hosts like that. Like yeah. they just know a little bit of something about everything, and they can talk for hours. Yeah, about, yeah. But I know, and I. It's almost like watching a Disney movie sometimes where there's maybe two levels of humor. Got it. Oh, you know right. what I something mean? The, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's like something for the cartoonists. <laughs> and then, for yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I think you would have to do that at a certain point. I mm -hmm. mean, because you are on the air for a long time talking mm -hmm. extemporaneously. Yeah. Like, your mind is going to go places that maybe the audience at home isn't going to get all the time. Yeah, so. or maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they in on the joke. You never they know. They could be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're right, they're not maybe sleep deprived and <laughs> talking about cherubs for yeah. an hour. So. <laughs> all right, awesome. well, I hope people can see you and cool. uh, thank you for coming in and doing yeah. this. Yeah, oh my gosh, this was so fun. Yes, thanks, thanks for sharing the on. clips with me. Oh, this is awesome. awesome. And we'll yeah. be right back right after that. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have that it. That was great. Yeah. You know what I really liked about her is that she said, so I thought the auction alley guy was, was terrible, right? Yeah. But then she was like, no, he's good. Yeah, he was able to roll with the punches. He knew how to, I think she was impressed about how uh, she was, he was able to like open the wallets, like open the polio sport wallet and right. show what was inside. The Calvin. The Calvin, yeah. yeah, he was able to like, and she has, she like does handbags and she said, oh, you gotta do that. You gotta show them what's inside, all that stuff. Exactly. So, yeah. So I got an education. Good insights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Let's, thanks to Adrian again. So we, okay, so we're running along. Steve, commentary corner. Let's do it. We gotta what, get you. We gotta have, get you a graphic. What have people been commenting on the message boards over the last week? Um, there's been a lot. Um, hold on, let me turn up my mic just I'm a little. I'm gonna do an unboxing while you're doing that. Sure, All right. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to find the right level over here. Okay. Um, I think the uh, there's been a number of things that they've been talking about. One, the move. Um, a lot of people were offering their help. Um, oh really? Oh work. yeah. Yeah. Um, too little, too late. Yeah, we're almost all moved in. Yeah. 
they were wishing you guys luck. Thank Although, you. Uh, Christopher Bochman, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He'd help with the move, but the last guy didn't even buy him a non-alcoholic beer, so he's done helping people move. Yeah, it was, oh. it's always like, here, we're going to order pizza for everybody. Come and do this manual labor for five or six hours. Another question was, why was Joe wearing the Rubbish Boy shirt, not Nick? Um, because it was sitting here, and I was like, I want to wear it. I, and you know what? I, it, it's, a, it's also of a huskier size, and I don't... I was going to say it's a little, it was a little tight on me. I think you <laughs> can kind of see I'd, some of the rolls. I've kind of drawn in it, so it's kind of like, maybe it's... I think you should start a line called Rubbish Wear. Oh, that's a great where idea. it's all different kinds of like Rubbish Boy styles. Yeah. Like maybe like a little picture of you as a little boy, like carrying some rubbish. Yeah, kind of a portly uh, preteen. Yeah, you have like an RW... <laughs> Yeah. Like a rubbish wear. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Kind of like a Calvin wallet. But yeah. <laughs> RW. I love it. Uh, once again, there was just so much good stuff, and I know we're running over, so I'll try to be as quick as possible. Baby Rapper, once again, just a lot of uh, time, both in the pre roll and everything else. Wait, a lot of time, what? Like people talked about people it? People talked or about like, it, yeah. In a I good th- way? Or did I they, think so. Did, uh, did they miss him already? Um, never too much baby rapper. Um, I was in Philly last week. I love baby rapper. I want the most baby rapper. Uh, Thomas G on YouTube has a fan theory. Baby rapper grows up to become Dan from crazy, crazy worship. <laughs> That's a great sort of theory. Yeah, yeah. That's true. You know what yeah. I couldn't get out of my head, which was, was Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh yeah. Oh, I said, let my people go like that. I was like, like wake up with that. Yeah, I woke up with it. Uh, There was a lot of comments about that too, and just someone, someone, one of my favorites was that someone was just pointed out that he wore the uh, balloon hat, not didn't give one to the kid. Yeah, the kid (laughs) was completely unadorned. That's right. The kid was just had his normal hair. Yeah, good point. Oh, good call. Yeah. Um, And then uh, Dave, who we already discussed, a lot of people were uh, bringing up. uh, Dave was the one who. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dave, uh, Dave, yeah, who I paid tribute from to Grand with the yeah. and, But then it was mixed after. Some people were, like, they happy like for this. the video they gave, and then other people were like, but why, but why? <laughs> um, it's a question only you can answer. True, true. Um, and then um, tedium versus excitement, always a, uh, a hot topic. And oh, yeah? And uh, pretty split. It's I one think. of those philosophical questions. Like, we'll never, no. you know, well, there's theologians like, will be there's talking There's, like, type about A personalities, and then there's whatever. The other personality is B. Well, B? I think yeah. there's probably a C too, because there's some people who like yeah. both. Jerry's very passionate about TDM. TDM return to TDM. TDM strikes back. Uh, we want excitement. You know, mm. people going back and forth. The, the Ford Chevy dilemma. Here's the, here's the thing with with excitement corner. I feel like every video is supposed to be excitement corner. That's why I don't totally get your. Have you corner. watched any of our ten thousand videos? None are exciting. I have to. We it's a needle in a haystack to find a good exciting you, video. But it's hard to find a tedium video that doesn't have any excitement in it at all. Every video has a little bit of Disagree. excitement in it. Disagree. I've watched a lot of videos where I'm like, everything, almost, I would say 90% of our collection could be tedium. Well, I guess we just have differing definitions because when the guy, for, for the, the last week's one, mm-hmm. with the synthetic rocks, yeah. I thought it was a little too exciting that the guy had cool sunglasses on. <laughs> I thought that was just like that was a little too much. Right. Even that's that can be perceived. You want as the excitement. neon hum of an office lighting. Exactly. Uh, okay. I want a tie. I want some glasses. I just want a All monotone right. voice. Everything has a little excitement in it. I feel like you have the easiest job in the world. Anyway, keep no, going. Not at all. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so a lot of it was talking about your relationships. Uh, the okay. two of you guys together. Yeah. Um, the bickering that goes on. A lot of people like it. People do um, like the bickering. I think so, yeah. No, okay. and some people went out and said, I love the bickering. Um, you know, some people think it's fine to set up a video before the theme song. Uh, and Lisa commented, she loves when Joe yells at Nick. Oh, There's yeah. discussion about how they fit in. You know, who was the Joe in their life? Who is the Nick in their relationships? <laughs> So you should go check that out if you have it. All right, well, we'll you so know what? Like, we'll increase the bickering. Who, who's the bully and who's the overly tolerant person? <laughs> yeah. Who is that in your life? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Hillary the Taylor, he, I like that Joe will list the ways he's wrong and skillfully avoid apologizing, which is, I think, you know, from having... Oh, yeah, saying I'm wrong about this, yeah, but there's I, no actual apology. I'm not a big fan of apologies, but... But you're a weasel. But you are very good at it. And Thank you I so think much. you, I think you did. Have you written up an apology corner? No, but week? I will for next week. Okay. So, yeah. What is it going to be about? 
Uh, remind me what I did wrong. Um, oh, I didn't. I th I tried throwing to the excitement corner before I. Yes, yeah. it's so important. Yeah. You have got to throw to the graphic first Thank before you. you, before you play your video. Okay. So important. And as we enter hour two, what else do we have to talk about here? Uh, so once again, I'll try to wrap up. Uh, Patreon just. Um, some people talked about how much they enjoyed it. And then there was um, a question. Sorry, I'm trying to find it right now. They enjoyed uh, giving five bucks a month or 10 bucks a month? To no, they, like oh. the, um, someone mentioned that they were so excited that you put up the, fo the whole Funny Man. Um, oh, yeah. Funny thing. Man. Yeah, the impressionist. Here it is. Um, oh, yeah, nope, that wasn't it. It was... Sorry. Funny Man was our friend Steve Hyden yes. who we would volunteer to do impressions, but they weren't very good. He would always say the name of the person he was impersonating. Yeah, uh, and we have an update on that. Actually, Bandcamp, I don't know if you know this, Bandcamp, a guy from there, he emailed you? Yeah. And he was like, hey, if you want to put up that Funny Man album on Bandcamp, I'll write about it, and then you can sell it. So we might actually make some money off a of Funny Man. And if you're a Patreon subscriber, you'll get it for free. You'll get the whole album but, for free. Yeah, so, they already have. Yeah. But oh. the rubes will have to pay for it. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth <laughs> Montanay, and once again, I apologize if, uh, but she and Hillary Taylor are constant um, commenters. They do. Yeah. Um, she posted, in the 10 years Hillary Taylor and I have been together, we have not laughed harder than we did at the Patreon Extra with Funny Man. Really? Oh, really? oh they got to see him live opening for us at oh, a I show love in, that. in Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great feedback. Thank you. And then uh, Christopher uh, Bocheman who I'm probably pronouncing each, differently each time I say it, it wanted to know, and I think we might have talked to discuss this earlier today, but um, if you subscribe now, do you get access to older perks? You get all the perks. Yeah. If you subscribe now, sure, you get yeah. all the old Just stuff. Just real quickly, on YouTube, you know, we, we kind of post the video as an event before it happens, so you can kind of set an alert for when our, our show's happening. And there's always one thumbs down before the show even starts, which I, I find really amusing. Last week... It's the only video I think we got two thumbs down on. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe so, it's the John Oliver people who are coming over could here. Could be. Yeah. yeah. They dislike us. So. Yeah. Okay. S somebody I didn't have it said, don't pander to the John Oliver people. That was a note from the one All of the All right. If you okay. came here from the John Oliver show, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. We don't need you. Difference between pandering and that. But, um, and then the last thing, uh, well, there's two other things I'd like to talk about quickly. Um, first is the clowns. Okay. Um, a lot of discussion about that. Can well, it be a Adrian figurine? Does it have to be a, once, But yeah, go ahead. Can it be a figurine? Does it have to be a soft doll? Figurines are welcome. I think it could be anything. Someone had a suggestion. Um, is it possible to paint off doll, alf dolls in like a little bit of... See, I saw that comment and it made me think like, no, let's paint Barbie dolls. Let's say take Barbie and Ken dolls. With and take some, some Yeah, with clown makeup and paint it on. Great. I don't know what you do for the clothes. Maybe you paint on the clothes too and make them naked. Yep. Sure, paint like a kind of, yeah. I, I did a Google search for miniature clown clothing, and I, and I came up short. <laughs> came up short? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, somebody help us out there. But you could also just send us regular clown dolls. What if, hey, here's this. Hear me out on this. Yeah. What if we just do Barbie heads? You rip off the Barbie head, and you paint it like a clown, and then we sent them, send them just the Barbie heads. Okay. And then... Uh, I think that's like a threat in the mafia. <laughs> if you open up a box of painted clown 15. Barbie dolls. <laughs> yeah. It means something. I don't know. You're... Generations of your family. And we'll will include be a note that says, like, hey, here's our clown dolls. So excited to see our shelf. Right. Send pictures ASAP. Give me a call when you get this. Yeah. And then we can have that discussion. Here's my number 347 561. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, go ahead. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to bring up was just the uh, there was a lot of comments about the Heaven's Gate. That was the other big thing that came oh, up. Oh, yeah. Bring, I saw that too. Bring, bring it up. We, uh, yeah. There are well, no, this was right. a Sandy Duncan exercise video we played last week. Sponsored by Wheat Thins. Yes. And uh, the co host was a man with gleamingly white teeth and white hair. And whoever said that was on the nose 100%. Yeah. He's total Heaven's Gate all the way. Yep. I could see him with those bright white sneakers. Yep. Let me just show tarp. you what we got. In the, are you all done, Steve? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was great. Thanks um, Bob Hedges. For commenting. Bob oh, Hedges classic. sent us more Bob string, right? but this is a Christmas card. That is <laughs> Sorry, we're just Sorry, getting around Bob. to opening our mail. We, we, we save these for unboxing because we think we're going to do them after every single show, but then we always run out of time. So thanks. Nice thanks, note Bob. in there. A and nice some note, videos. and then some videos. Oh, he sent us a trophy. Whoa. A baseball trophy. Oh, cool. Girls softball. softball. Yeah, girls softball trophy. That's nice, Bob. Yeah, he's so good. Put that on the desk in oh, the new office. Oh, a John Deere customer cornhead operators video. <laughs> Josh in Seattle, cornhead. Josh in Seattle sent me this. Well, sent us this. He pointed out big red fire engines. 
But you know, we find a lot of these. I'm not that excited about this one, but I am excited about this one. Great Video Productions. Can we provide services for your graduation? Graduation's mm. capitalized. Yeah. It's asking a question. It's not saying we're good at it. It's just, and but great video productions. I mean, um, medical management of depleted uranium casualties. <laughs> oh, wow, that title. That's a guided by voices title. Done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you've done yourself. Um, hey, so uh, we're, let's wrap up here with a video that was actually speaking of Patreon. This was sent in by Chris from Patreon. Who's... Hold on a second. Unusually specific. Okay. Uh, mastering fire department entrance interviews. What? So if you're joining the, a fire department and yeah. you have to take an interview, this is how you master that interview. We need to watch this next week. Yes. All, All right. right. All right. We've Thank gone you, way Bob. over time. So this one is sent in by Chris, uh, who's one of our Patreon backers. Thank you, Chris. Uh, his brother is, um, I think, is a saxophone player, and yeah, and he played keyboard with this guy in the '80s named. Uh, Gerard. Gerard and Gerard somehow he gave him a VHS he's copy of his He's such a Gerard too. Oh yeah. He's so Gerard. He gave him a VHS copy of his demo tape. Gerard plays keyboard. So, uh, we'll leave you with a bit of Gerard's demo tape and uh, we'll uh, see you next week. That's all. That's it. Good night everybody. Here's Gerard. <laughs>